This is the most talkative refrigerator. It makes so much noise. Okay. Uh, see that stovepipe lining out there? And see all the fog in it? Pretty. But uh, that stovepipe had to go. It just uh, that that wasn't working out. So here we are with this stove. Don't put these in your house now, okay? And uh, there's the the hole, and uh, it goes up to there, and, and you know it's got that going for it. So I've got this uh, nice. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to show that uh, other other people's stuff. So I've got this nice double walled stuff here. I, I'll give you the part number in, in, in the description down there. But it's, it's, it's double walled and packed. Uh, this will not go down in that hole you just saw on the stove. This will. So I'm going to I'm going to cut this back along here and seat this down on the stove. Now I've got some other stuff here. I got my supply of stainless steel pull ties. I, I keep those handy. And, uh, Mick made one of these, but I bought one. Uh, this is the thing that tightens up. Uh, boy, let me tell you, you can put a strangle hold on that thing. And this is what I'm going to try because that Red Devil's junk was junk. I mean, it just turned into bricks and cracked. It didn't last any time at all. So we're going to try this Rutland stuff. And I've got some, uh, I've got some packing uh, that I'll probably put at the bottom of this and... and mix it up with some stainless steel stuff and I had the idea of getting this stuff this is uh, I kind of don't want to open this in here but th this is I'll show you well I guess it's not too bad oh it's in the plastic bag because this does fiberglass and it comes with a couple of ties that's good I always use, use them uh, this is exhaust heat wrap and uh, so I'm going to wrap it with this too and then I'll try to I got three boxes. It's only $14 a box. And I'll wrap something with it. Now, so we're going to, I'm waiting on another one of these pipes. I got a stainless steel uh, 90 degree solid bend piece coming. So I think we're going to make this nice. Now, that other wood stove that I did earlier that was sitting outside that I burned off all the junk on it, uh, it kind of taught me, and I knew this kind of already, Exhaust gets pretty cool as it goes up, so I'm going to, uh, I'm not too worried about the thing. There's fire brick around there. I drilled a hole in the house to put that stovepipe in out there. So, uh, I think it's going to be fine, and I've got all kind of wrap. I've got all kind of goo. I, I'm, I'm going to make this uh, completely safe, because it did get a little smoky in here, so I'm going to have to put an end to that, and I've got a really nice guy that's uh, that's been talking to me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give him honorable mention too. But I got my micrometer. I think this is gonna be ten times better, safer, and a whole lot less smelly. Now the other thing is, I learned something about the Bonneville today, uh, just about an hour ago or less, about the trailing arm, and I'm gonna be that is going to be a fun video. Let me tell you, I cannot wait for that. And you wonder why I do things like this. This piece of wood blocks the sun. Uh, and if it's not going to get hot enough to be a problem, but that's just leftover floor from when I put the floor in out here. And uh, I did all this work, got all those, all these blinds, and at about at about 3:30 in the afternoon or so, sun comes right there and it hits me right in the left cornea. So <laughs> I had to put that little shade there. So anyway, it's always something, isn't it? There's that guy we, I've been talking to. Uh, this is the survivor. Uh, Cub Camp Stove 12 CSS, and this was when I, whenever I did this, well, not wasn't that long ago. But this guy here, he he talks to me, and uh, he's uh, he's been uh, rather active talking to me, so I appreciate that, and uh, I like comments. So be sure and like, subscribe, and comment, okay? And we're gonna get to this thing. No use giving you part numbers on this because everybody's going to be different. But uh, this is your double shielded uh, vent flu stuff. And I want this to go down in my stove. And so I'm going to cut a little bit of this off so it'll set down in there. And then I'm going to pack it with the stuff. There's some stuff that was in it, but it wasn't, it wasn't big enough. It wasn't long enough. I don't know why that was. Why bother? But I've got to get my die grinder 
and grind this grind this ring off right here. So this is uh, scene one of stove rehabilitation, and uh, this is gonna be noisy. And uh, oh, I wanted to mention something about that little stove video that I did. I uh, can't remember what it was, but the after the first burning, all of this lining just fell out of the door. It didn't really bother me. Uh, so it's kind of funny. Uh, I guess uh, let's just do an update on this thing. Uh, I haven't really decided where to put it yet. But this warning that was on the back, uh, it melted off. So I guess the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency needs to need to start using using rivets or something. I don't know. But this this stuff is the liner for around the door. And I opened the door the next day after I cured this out, and the stuff just basically just falls smack off just like that. So there you go. All right, let's get back to that thing. Okay, noise alert, and I mean it. Might, might hot. Now she'll cut the bejesus out of you, so just keep that in mind. So, metal recycling uh, is there. Okay, and uh, okay. Well, let's get this back up to the house. No highway in the sky, right? Take it every time. Now, see. I got enough to sink down into the stove and enough to put some packing around. So let's take that back up there and uh, try not to damage it along the way. Well, just for fun, that's what I'm using. Uh, seems to be pretty good too. But you know, when you're cutting that, you just got to be real careful not to mess around with inside too much. It's warming up, so everything's going bang around the shop, the barn. Bing, bing, bang, bada, boom. I had to make a decision on the stove pipe to stove connection. This uh, double pipe has this outer and inner layer, or inner uh, tube, and the inner, the inner ring is too small for the hole in the stove. But you see, I got it to go in there. Now, you got a choice here. You can either cut that hole which is going to tear up about anything you got. I mean, you can do it, or you could grind it out. But what I decided to do was uh, make some relief cuts. See those relief cuts around here? And then I'll be able to, to pack, let's see if you can see that. Then I'll be able to pack that stuff in and around this. This stuff is very sharp. But now, you'll see it, uh, it just kind of goes right in there and goes in there pretty tight. So with the packing and all, and this thing's going to be covered up, you know, with the exterior pipe. I mean that that's pretty good. I, I'm more than okay with that. And uh, so let's let's get. Uh, I've got this is the packing that came with it, and it was a little too short. And I've got this stuff, which is probably a little too fat. So I probably will just use this and. Uh, then put maybe some of this gasket cement around it and wrap this or probably around the outside and then I got this fiberglass uh, teach tube too so I should be able to seal this is where I'm going with all that so let's see what happens here let's uh let's go right here right now and I'll show you okay see this stuff here will go up inside of there I probably need two hands to pack that in there. So, uh, anyway, yeah. That's the way that's going to go right there. And then we'll make up the, the remainder with uh, goo or something. Maybe I can uh, cut some of this or maybe cut a little, little pieces of this and stuff up in there. And that would help too. 
I don't really see what good that original uh, packing does because it goes so far up in there even after I cut this off. So, uh, helicopter going over. Uh, so I'm going to try to stuff some of that in there. I don't know, I don't know. That, that, that's useless right there. That, that don't pack nothing. Pack this. <laughs> that worked pretty good. So just kind of bend these tabs back up. You can tell I'm ready to cut this off. And uh, it's all packed in. I, I feel real good about that. So uh, there you go. I got to remind myself to try to put these uh, links in uh, the description down there below so y'all can find these things. Uh, if you want this, you better order, better order early because uh, they seem to be hard to find, hard to get. You probably find them locally and you probably find this locally too, but I ain't local. See, I'm, I'm, out, I'm out here, <laughs> so I ain't much local for me. Gee, that looks good to me. That just looks so much better. So let's uh, get you on steady cam here. And turn this over. Get you off of steady cam. Wow, that even sounded better. That with a little sealant down there in here. That's going to be leak free. And the trick here is going to be, it's going to take very little bits of sealant, just little tiny bits, a little, little tiny ring. And I don't, even if it got crusty, it's going to be okay. Cause I'm going to try to make this as stable as I can. So anyway, we'll, we'll look and see. So I don't know how much I'm going to have to cut off. I could measure it, but let's just wait till the pot gets here. Okay. So that's it for, that's it for a couple of days at least. So very good. Very, very good. Very happy with that. Okay. Oh no, come back. Come on back here. That's the snap on truck. <laughs> I gotta get him to start stopping by here once every couple of months or so. Snap on guy goes by here about every day. It's a little after seven in the morning. And I just, I just had to record this, if not just for me, just for all of us. Look at that. Red sky in the morning, sailor tape warning, but that, it doesn't even come across on the camera as beautiful as that is. That is your perfect magenta red sky. Today should be a pretty big day. We got Alexis coming, and I'm working on my thing here. It's too high, I'm gonna have to lower it a couple of inches. But that's the main thing right there. Check that out, it is cool and beautiful too. Mm. This is my second piece of stove pipe. I'm gonna have to cut it right here to get, um, to get things to work. So that's all I need to do. So you got to make sure that you connect them so you don't cut the wrong end off. So let me get my uh, saw, my side grinder, and cut this off. It's going to be kind of messy, but I think we can do her. Let's, uh, I don't want to dent this thing up. All right, so we'll cut it off and use this as a rotation device. Now you, see, you see down on the bottom there's a thing for pipe, but I don't think I need that. I've got to think this thing over. Yeah, I think it's better like that. I think that supports it a little better. And it's going to be, it's going to be sparky and messy here. Pretty much does it. Oh, okay, that comes out if you do that. Okay, let's wet.
so all I got to do here is just uh, pack this stuff, pack some rope in there, that, that'll stabilize it and everything. What happens on the other end? It's just, it just comes on out, don't it? Because it's not connected. I guess it's connected here, huh? I guess that's the connection right there. Hmm, well, metal recycling. Got it right in the refrigerator, yay! I have everything out and ready to test fit and see how this is going to look. And I'm, when I look back at this thing, I have to hold this up there a second for it to get light acclimated. Let's test fit and see how it goes. Now I'm going to get some of this that packing I did earlier and pack pack around this and do whatever I can. Now I got, like I said earlier, this stuff. Well, I, I used it to to seal around up there, and I looked down and then it was just all over my hands. So it leaked out of the back of the tube. There's a drop of it right there. So it just it just got black goo all over my hands. So just keep that in in my in your mind that that. It can come out the back, and, and that happens. You'll you'll see that happen on these tubes and stuff now and then. A little bit will come out the uh, the plunger side. I used the original rope caulk and just packed it in there, and it, that that stabilizes it nicely. Just pack it in there with a screwdriver, and if you pull on it a little bit, it'll make it all the way around. I, you know, it, it's fine. It's fine. I'm getting ready to. Uh, I don't want to put this on the couch. I'm getting ready to assemble these pieces. And this has a, like an interlock. You can see the way it works there. See that interlock? Embossed kind of interlock thing. And I'm going to put a little bit of this around around that. And uh, get just one piece and get it. Uh, I'm not sure out here in here is the place to do that. Let's go on the back porch and do that. But, you know, just imagine this going there and you putting it together. I worked as hard as I could to get that to bayonet in there. And I just about got it. So I, I'll try a little bit more, but you can see the black stuff around there. If I were you, I would not turn your back on that thing too long and get this stuff and uh, what is this stuff? And wrap right there just to keep clean because <laughs> that's going to get it all over you. Let's see if I can, I doubt I can straighten that out. I, it took everything I had to get it to turn that far but if it's locked in I mean it's locked in real good Whew, that was that was tough okay time for a test shot I got the uh, that stuff's thick <clears throat> but you gotta be careful with it because it wants to tear along the sides especially if you got a little injury like that so you gotta be careful with it but it's very thick very good stuff okay so I got that taped off it's not be so messy I got this installed so we're going to uh, put it, see if I can get you in the shot here. <clears throat> All right, let's see how this goes. And I'm going to do some more sealing on the upper joint there. If I can do this thing. All right. It this does just go in pipes. It's it's well designed. This 90 degree bend thing. Okay, so I got to get some of that Rutlands and put into there. But there you go. Okay. And there you go. So let's go get the Rutlands and put it around the inside of up there and uh, slip that in and then we'll pick up on this a little bit down here and put some Rutlands down around the base. Okay? Okay. I don't think it leaked out on me this time. That's good. Okay. So I got my tabs bit back out and it's time to apply this stuff. around the inside of that 
uh, pipe right there. So, and I'm going to put more of this on when the time comes around the outer parts. That's the final fitment. Got it all the way in up there. I got these clamps I'm going to put up there. And you can see the rutland sort of uh, coming out around the bottom there. That's good. Hope it, hopefully it doesn't turn into this. This was the red devil stuff that just turns into uh, a cakey old brick. So, see ya. So let's put these in up there. Hey, I think I got the screwdriver to swing that. Maybe I can get my ECR or whatever you call this thing. And maybe maybe that does it. I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, get that lariat off my hands. Well, yeah, I think that'll do fine. Just kind of for fun. It's got that fancy end on it. Used this just the other day, putting in a dimmer. It's sealed, caulked, taped, and clamped. I got the Rutlands down there. I'm going to put more down there. I got it taped there. I like that tape. And I got it taped, caulked, and taped, and clamped up there. And I think that's going to be fine. I think it might need to go back a little bit, but let's not mess with it until... Maybe let's just not mess with it. Because <laughs> I got to put the cover on it anyway. I don't think... I, I think the seals are, are, are very, very well sealed. So we'll just... We're just going to call it like, like that. And nobody's going to... Martha's not going to come get me about this not being uh, perfectly straight up. So nothing around here is really perfectly straight. There's no such thing as a straight line. There's another thing you got to be real mindful of, and I forgot it the past four times. It has an arrow right there. It says exhaust flow. And that's do up. So make sure you get that in the right order or it will it may leak. I don't I don't know if it would. But uh, it, just make sure you, you, you keep that in, in the top of mind there. Look at that. Well, I think that's pretty doggone cool right there. No pun intended. So it might take three. And now I'm going to go from the bottom up, see what I got left in the middle, and just use the third one and start the, the, the thing and then come down, and then we'll see how it goes. But I'm probably going to use all three of those rolls, and, but that's pretty good there. That makes me feel like a million dollars right there, that, or maybe a hundred dollars, I don't know. Well, three rolls was a good guess, so we got this part in the middle. So I'm going to start about... Uh, right here and I'm going to uh, give you some kind of parameters here so I'm gonna start about right there and work my way down with the last roll so three rolls was right and then we're gonna fire this mother up okay let's strike her up I've got three rolls of that stuff on there and I think that means we're ready to roll let's see if we got any smokies coming out let's get the flare ready uh, what do you think? 170 degrees, except on the top here, it'll be hotter. All right, let's let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's get this thing going. There's the TS 8000. I hadn't fired this mother up. I don't know when. What's this? And that's called uh, this is called perfection. <laughs> stuff kind of get her going and then we're gonna put this in here it's gonna be a hot night tonight huh all right we got that going for us this for bag noise alert okay just so you see it I moved my fancy batteries for my radio control plane now. So let's see where we are on this. So I'll make sure that's open or I'll, you know, everybody does their own thing. Alright, ready? I'm 
Well, I'm ready. How come you not go? Oh, it was on lock. Okay, oh, there you go. I think it's not on lock anymore. <laughs> at the last second. Okay. Now I got a smoke detector in here and you better have one too. Make sure, always make sure that's off. And, and when you get the fire going, <laughs> probably a good idea not to have that thing too close to where you want it to be there. Let's just, uh, I'll put it on the other side of the house or something. Don't keep propane tanks too close to stoves. There you go. I hear it drawing now. So we could go outside and see some smoke. Maybe I could send some smoke signals. Now, nine times out of ten, it's better just to leave these things alone, not poke at them. And they'll take off sooner or later. But sometimes you got guests or something, and you kind of got to get in there and get her going. So if we can get her to draw, so I don't see any smoke coming up anywhere. This is such a great stove. It's so well sealed. Ooh, already hot there. Where's the flirsky? Oh, let's turn the brightness down on that. Okay, yeah, that's going to be hot already. Yes, sir. Look at that. Just in that short amount of time, it's 200 degrees right there. So let's go outside and see if she's smoky. While the, uh, let me turn that thing off. Oh. Don't take any time at all. She's smoking out a little bit. She's gonna have to start drawing. That could be some stuff just kind of burnt. Now this stuff here is gonna kind of smoke too. Whoa, starting to, starting to sound a little bit too. To Rory. Let's go. Let's go see. I'll just keep you in real time here. And then uh, we'll let that burn off and then I'll put the cover on it. You don't need to see me putting the cover on it. Power aid, not a sponsor. But I drink the bejesus out of the things. Uh -huh. Not that, that. And not that. That. Okay, so you can see she's looking embery in there. Now, this house is so tight now that, I, you know, I'm a little afraid that it won't draw. I've seen that happen a couple of times, not here, but in different places. Let's see how we've got any cow juice going here. Uh -huh. We do. A little celebratory cow juice. Let's go see if she's smoky. Money penny. Ooh, smells like smoke out here. Somebody must have a fire going. Okay. Well, I don't know if you can see it against that gray sky. I think you can. But she's drawing. And boy, ain't that gonna look cool going, people going down the rows. See? See that uh, nice smoke coming out of there? Oh, focus. All right, let's go out here a little bit. So that'll be it. All I gotta do is I'll, I'll slip that thing on here at the end. I don't think it's gonna be too hot. We got, we'll probably just do one more shot and call it a day. Yes, sir. Let's go back in. Ooh, it smells so good. Oh, that, that, that smoky wickia will be that smell in here tonight. All right. Oh, I gotta go, gotta go back on this thing. All right, so we're gonna let that just, let's see, now you'll be able to play with it and you'll get it on turbo. You might want to get it on turbo a little bit to get the, Wood going. I don't know what you guys know about wood fires. Yeah, I think that was a good idea. All right, let's put the cover on it and try to just just do the whole thing. Let's turn the light back on. Okay, it's time. All right. Yeah, 
we're gonna let it kind of burn. I don't want it burning off flipping night. Okay, let's put the cover on it. I almost don't need to cover that. Looks pretty good as it is, but I don't know. I got I gotta cover all that mess up up there. Before I put the cover on it, it's been burning a little bit of time here. So it's good and it's good and hot there. I don't know if, look, if you can see that. Doesn't seem to want to focus, but believe me, it's, it's good and hot there. And look at that when you go up the stack. It's showing like 80 degrees. Gosh, I don't know what you can see of that. Doesn't look like it's so that's pretty good. That makes you feel good about your uh, you know your wood stuff not bursting in the flames. So that's okay. Whew. Yeah, and then when you get down here. She's just now going. She's she kind of started and let off a little bit, but she's embery in there. And that's gonna be just nice. And here's here's the piece on one of the covers I'm gonna put. I'm gonna try to cover all that up. And we'll do our final, final shot at that time. That'll do. It's, uh, oh, good gosh. It's been hours. And look in there. Oh, oh. Okay, that's it. We're not going to do any more. <laughs> okay. Whatever that noise was, let's cut that off and just let that smolder through the night and I'll be nice and toasty warm. I hope you're nice and toasty warm. Alright. Subscribe, like. Oh, phone call. <laughs>